This study is on the Nephilims and the giants called Gevers. Also on the third influx of the Nephilims who are the fallen angels. Nephilim, son of God, in Genesis chapter 6. In the beginning, God, Yahweh, created man in his and the angel's image. Genesis verse 1, chapter 26. As we read through the Bible, we will read that Satan tried to destroy the seed line that Christ Jesus would come through with Adam and Eve. God, Yahweh, promised that Jesus would be born through the seed line of Adam and Jesus was born of woman in a perfect, pure bloodline through Mary and the prophecy came to pass. Let's read how Satan tried to destroy the bloodline in Genesis chapter 6. Let's just stop for a moment and pray to Father Yahweh to lead, guide, and direct us through this study. Amen. Genesis chapter 6, verse 1. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them. Verse 2, the sons of God saw that the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. This is the fallen, this is the first influx of the Nephilim the sons of God, Yahweh. These are the angels in heaven, and we look just like them. In Psalms chapter 78, verses 24 through 25, where God rained down angel food called manna. This shows us that the angels do eat food, but they are in a different dimension than we are. Verse 3. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always thrive with man, but for he also is flesh. Yet his days shall be hundred and twenty years. Verse 4. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them. The same became mighty men which were of old men of renown. When the angels, the Nephilim, took women in marriage and the wives bare children, they gave birth to the giants, also called Gebers. These giants are hybrids. This was Satan's plan to pollute the bloodline that Jesus would come from. In verse 4, let's read it again. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that. So you see that there were, oh, there was a second influx of the Nephilims, the angels coming to earth to try again to pollute the seed line of Christ Jesus. This second influx was after the flood of Noah. In the Strong's Concordance, number 5303, the word is nephi, N-E-P-H-I-Y-L. And the nephi, number 5307, is nephal, 
N-A-W-F-A-L. The primitive root to fall. The fallen angels, Nephilims. In Genesis, where we read that in the days of Noah, there was sin. The sin was the Nephilims coming to earth and taking wives and creating giants. So God, Yahweh, flooded that area where the giants live. The Nephilims, who are the fallen angels that left their habitation, which was heaven, and came to earth. These Nephilims did more than just marry women. They taught man how to make weapons for war and how to kill, how to make magic with plants and herbs to alter the minds so they could bring in other demons into the body how to make jewelry, and how to make makeup and taught the women how to put makeup under their eyes. Taught the humans how to worship other gods and material things with rituals and many other things. The Nephilims did not want to be born of women because oh, the Nephilims did not want to be born of women to become human because they thought that they were better than being born of women. You see, we all come from heaven. We're all angels until we're born of women. And when we die, we all go back to heaven to be judged, to see who we would follow, God, Yahweh, or Satan. And you can read this all the way back in the first world age, where Satan fell and took one-third of the angels with him. All God Yahweh wants for us is your love. The Nephilims or fallen angels are Satan's angels that we can read of in the book of Revelation. There are 7,000 of them written in chapter 12, verse 7, chapter 9, verses 7. 7 through 19, chapter 13, verse 8. Also in the book of Joel, the book of Jude. The second influx we can read in the book of Sam in the books of Samuel and Kings. David fought Goliath who was about ten and a half feet tall and killed him. Then we have King Og, who was a giant. The land of Petra was called land of the giants. In Deuteronomy chapter 3, verse 11, you can read about King Og. Back to Genesis chapter 6, verse 4, the second influx. Those giants in the second influx were all over the earth. Almost all of them were killed off with God, Yahweh's orders, because they were hybrids. And they tried to destroy the DNA of humans. So Jesus would not be born.
The giants were disgusting and disfigured. They had six fingers and six toes, two rolls of teeth. Some only had one eye or two heads. When food ran out, they began to eat humans and their sex drive was very strong. They would have sex wherever they wanted to, man on man. They transgressed and corrupted all the ways of humans. Well, Satan lost again. Our King of Kings and Lord of Lords was born from a pure bloodline of David. Amen, amen. The third influx, written in the book of Joel, in Luke chapter 17, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, Matthew chapter 24, verses 37 and 38, and the book of Revelation. The Nephilims, a.k.a. fallen angels, are coming back with Satan, the false messiah. These fallen angels are called the Locust Army in Revelation. And we'll come back as in the days of Noah that Jesus tells us about in Matthew chapter 24 verses 37 and 38. Taking women again and most likely men too. People are going to go nuts over them because they are supernatural. They are going to look so beautiful and will be performing miracles. The fallen angels will lie to you in any way they can to get you to worship Satan, the Antichrist. And if they do impregnate a woman, there will not be enough time for the baby to be born because God, Yahweh, has shortened the time to a five-month period. Written in Matthew chapter 24, verse 22. Mark chapter 13, verse 20. And Revelation chapter 9, verse 5. And verse 10, two times in chapter 9 for a second witness. In the book of Jude, verse 1, chapter 1, verse 6, tells us the fallen angels are damned, all 7,000 of them, at the seventh trump when Jesus returns. Be ready to fight them off with the whole armor of God on and in place and keep Jesus over your head for protection. The fallen angels will support each other to deceive you. They can't be killed because they're supernatural. Watch for flying vehicles. This is how they will come to earth. Read Ezekiel chapter 1. The fallen angels will come after Christians, the 144,000 and the elect. Why? Because they have already fooled the rest of the world. 
but those who know God's word, they're the ones they want most. The fallen angels will be preachers of God, but not our God, Yahweh, by quoting Bible scriptures. Now, Satan is trying to take souls, just like he tried to stop Jesus from being born. Don't allow it. We all have power over all our enemies. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 11 through 13. So I gave you a lot of scriptures to go over, to read for yourself, to study, to show yourself approved. I pray that you will open up your Bible and read the passage, read the scriptures, the verses that I gave you, so that you can see for yourself that the fallen angels are the Nephilim and they're going to be look they're going to look like us because you know we were made in their image so we are going to look like them and they are going to look like us they're not going to be giants you know huge people they're you know they're going to look like us and they, like I said, they're going to be beautiful. They're going to have a crown and a white robe. They're going to look so holy. And they'll be preaching God's word. Of course, they're, they're going to um, leave out a lot of the word. They're going to twist it to fit their teaching. So we must be ready for that, too. And people are just going to be in awe over these fallen angels. They're going to run after them and, and you know, love on them and think they're just wonderful. They, they think they're from our Holy Father. They think that these angels are from God, Yahweh. But they're Satan's angels. They're not God's angels. They're Satan's angels. Coming to earth to destroy human souls. Because you know what? Satan could not stop Jesus from being born. So he's going to try to get as many souls as he can. This war... Is, is against God, Yahweh, and Lucifer, Satan. And of course, we've all read the back of the book. We know who wins. And it's, it's our Holy Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and Christ Jesus, Yeshua, Emmanuel, But we just need to stay strong and keep watch and know what the time is. Of course, we don't know the time, but we sure do know the season.
Mark chapter 13, verses 34. For the Son of Man is a man taken a far journey, who left his house and gave authority to his servant, and to every man his work, and commanded the porters to watch. Watch therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh, at eve or at midday, or at the cock crowing, or in the morning. Lest coming suddenly he finds you sleeping. And what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch.